Hello everyone, we're here at day 21. We're almost done with the month. And as you get through the month and you know, you've heard the videos and they're in your mind, you will get distracted by the days that happen and the things that happen in those days. So today's just a reminder uh, to give you some things to reflect upon, perhaps either during your commute or at the end of the day. First and foremost, um, as you go out and you're trying to figure out about, you know, what it is you are and how are you doing? Are you taking notes? Are you looking at those notes? Your commute to and from work or perhaps some just even free time at the end of the day, right before you go to sleep, looking at your notes or writing some brief notes at the end of the day is a great habit to uh, help you look and reflect. Without that, it can be kind of hard, especially when you get caught up with lots of things. If you're not a writer, um, you know, uh, take voice memos or if you don't like voice memos, or you don't like using technology, you know, talk to someone, talk to a friend and just you know, tell them, look, I'm sharing with you. Can you just keep a record of what I tell you, et cetera, that type of thing. That's first and foremost. The second is inspiration. From time to time, you're going to look at things for inspiration. Hopefully you'll come to this video series for inspiration, but uh, let's say you're not at your PC, you don't have your headphones or something like that, you're reading online. Um, one thing you'd be, be, be careful of is a lot of times, there's lots of inspirational phrases and words and, and poems and stories and people out there. Um, and subconsciously we sometimes give people who are successful a little more power and a little more influence a little more intelligent than they actually have just because someone is successful doesn't mean that they're intelligent one um secondly more importantly though it doesn't mean that they're necessarily successful in the ways that you were or overcame the challenges that you had in the same way um, we all have similar challenges in life but it's our perspectives our talents our weaknesses and strengths that separate us that make the you know the approach or how we got over those challenges slightly different so when you're looking at Twitter and you're saying, well, you know, this is inspir inspir insp inspirational talk from Ed Asner or Stephen King or Maya Angelou, though she's no longer with us, those type of things. Keep in mind and look and, you know, people may look like you and they may have backgrounds similar to you, but did they go through the same struggles you did? That's the kind of thing that you want to to, to look for, you know, uh, when you're going out there. So one thing that you can possibly do is a new sort of, not really a new, but a little habit or uh, something you can do when you're trying to figure out who you are is also figure out who should be your role models. Okay, so, you know, take some time, go out there on Instagram, go on Twitter, go on Facebook, and just try to see, you know, look at new videos, look at new, 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 new sites, etc., and try to see if there's anyone out there you haven't found yet, or maybe hasn't found you, that can be more of a role model than perhaps, you know, those that are easy to find because they have lots of followers because they're famous. So uh, just to remind you this month, as you're going through this, well, for those of us in more temperate parts of the world, these cold months and you get overwhelmed with all the new work that comes in, in the new year, just keep in mind, are you taking notes? Are you keeping track of whether you're taking progress or whether you're making progress, whether you're on track? Secondly, um, one project you may want to do if, for instance, you found yourself and you're like, okay, I'm good, but you know, I'm really lacking for inspiration or guidance or I can't get a coach, coach right here, if you can't get a coach, uh, spend a couple of hours, a couple of minutes, sorry, more like a couple of minutes. Those of us who commute in Tokyo have hour long commutes, so we can spend an hour or two hours even during the day. But spend some time looking on Instagram, looking on Twitter, looking on Facebook, looking on social media for people perhaps who uh, have been through what you've been through and look to them for advice and support and uh, inspiration throughout the month and throughout the year of 2020. So this is day 21, just to remind you as we go into the last 10 days, just to give you a little refresher and a little check-in to make sure you're doing okay. As always, if you have any questions, and I'll get to a lot of your questions, a lot of them piling up, I'll get to your questions uh, tomorrow in day 22. Um, if you have them, send them to me. Take care. Bye.